today down the shed thought I'd run you through a tow bar install slash removal now before you either fit or remove a tow bar you'll need to remove the rear bumper bar there will be some Phillips head screws that'll hold sections in place so there's one that comes up here now the mud flap was here now to remove that it has these plugs which are like a quick fitment plug now to remove these plugs you can either use a flat blade screwdriver just underneath and twist it now they will be all perished and a bit dated so you have to work around the edges I've also got this tool here it's a trim removing tool special from super cheap 10 bucks now if you get it started with the flat blade you can get the trim removal tool underneath and that pops it out so see how it wedges in there that'll pull the mud flap off at the rear of the bumper bar you'll find these wedge plastic plugs they wedge in there's three of those I just used a 7mm socket to screw them out now if they don't play the game for you you put a screwdriver between it and wedge the screw as you're trying to wind it out hopefully they come out for you now with all those screws and plugs undone you should be able to pry back on the bar and it should unclip just be aware of your reverse sensors if fitted on the left hand side of the bumper bar it has the plug for the reverse sensors hold that in it'll be a bit tight there we go and there you have it your tow bar or where your tow bar needs to be fitted now to fit or remove mounting bolts for the tow bar makes it easier with the spare tire section out of the way to get this little plastic clip off I just used a screwdriver under there which popped it off that's a Torx head bolt which was a T45 that tie down comes out the cover unclips and pulls out from up the front you got this foam insert which uh, wriggles out of place mounting bolts So a 15mm socket undoes your mounting bolts and that tow bar should pull out now. Should.
So there we have it, tow bar's out. So if you're going to reinstall it, I'd be spraying some CRC around the tow bar section before installing it into the chassis rail of the car. So yeah, basically these are your two mounting bolts for your tow bar on each side. Should I make it clear? Yeah. So the wiring harness is fed back up through the floor of the spare tyre compartment. Underneath some trim. Now this is factory fitted, so it was all cable tied up. I just cut them, just so I could see what it's doing. Now it's got a trailer control module, which was stuck just up the back here. Now the other part of the harness just goes up to a plug up in here, which I've disconnected. There we go, so there's some things to consider when you're wiring up your tow bar. What I'll do to pull that out is I'll just cut it down at the plug here because I've got plenty of length for the next car to install it on. Forgot to mention there was another part of the harness that runs across. Just pulled that cover off, it literally just pops off. A couple of clips. The wiring harness runs across to the other side, so it must be for another option because it's not plugged into anything except it's earthed. So, just another part to think about. There we have it, it's just a earth wire running across. What I've also done is I pulled the tail light out to show you how the bump is actually clipped on. So don't be afraid to pull it back. And then obviously to reinstall, push the bumper back on and put those screws back in that you pulled out. The next thing you have to think about is where the tow bar grease hitch comes out. Now on the bar it's got like guidance lines anyway I'd start just on the inside of those if you're going to cut it now this cover here actually comes off again it's those temperamental screws plugs whatever you want to call them that go along here now it's also got a couple of little metal clips that retain it in place, which should easily come off. Now with all those plugs and clips out now, should be able to pop this section off. So just a bit of a recap, if you're going to be fitting a tow bar, bumper bar off first, then I'd be taking the trim sections off in the boot area, trunk area, whatever you want to call it, grabbing your tow bar assembly, putting a bit of lube on each end, some CRC, sliding it into place. Obviously, once you've got your mounting bolts out of the way, tighten them up. Now, they're a 15mm head, so just a 15mm socket will be fine. And that'd be your tow bar fitted. Then, throw your wiring through. 
I'd start up in here, then run your cable just behind this pa trim panel here. Pretty easy. You may have to drill a hole, put a grommet. Pretty sure that's not factory. And as you can see, that's the exhaust pipe. So it comes back out the bottom, run it around, let it hang there for a bit. Then you're pretty much up to the point of dummy fitting your bumper bar again and working out where to cut it. Hopefully this helps you, whichever stage you're up to. Uh, some tools you may require, handsaw or a grinder, a bit of copper anti seize and some CRC, some basic screwdrivers, side cutters, uh, you might want some cable ties, you definitely need some torque spits, which are torque spits that look like that, and you'll need the 45, which mine's uh, disappeared. A little socket set, half inch drive socket set, bit of a rubber mallet. Yeah, all right, well, please like if it was any good. Uh, and yeah, if you want to subscribe and see what else I get up to, hit the button. Take it easy.